what's going on everybody and welcome to another episode so for today's video i actually have kind of like an accessory video for you guys and so what i did i decided to check out two usb-c charger adapters so on the left i got the oem apple 61 watt power adapter and in the right hand i have the rave power 61 watt USB-C power adapter. Pretty much what I decided to do is go ahead and compare these two since I recently picked up my MacBook Air M1. So I wanted to see what is the difference between these two. Sometimes the OEM has just a little bit an advantage over third party accessories. So why not check out both to see if you can save some money. Now granted these are both 61 watt power adapters so there shouldn't be an advantage on that end however sometimes internally they are just slightly different so we're going to go ahead and talk about these two and the testing that i did so i actually have my notes that i made and i also included a few clips in this video for you guys so i went ahead and did the unboxing for each one of these and you will be able to see what's included inside those boxes not too much here, as you can see, for the Apple power adapter here is much larger than the Rave power that I have. And by the way, I also purchased both of these from Amazon, as well as extra charging cables for each one. So right here, I have the Apple USB-C cable. This is the two meter version. As I mentioned, this has a larger footprint. Um, and you can definitely tell this is the original with the Apple logo right here on the side of it. And then we have the prongs right here. And I like how both of these power adapters are included with the retractable prongs. So you can um, definitely fold them back up and snap back in. Now with the Apple version, um, you, it's a little bit more stiff. And that is a good thing in my opinion, because that way you don't have to worry about when you're trying to plug this in, the prongs are flipping back inside the power adapter and that becomes a little bit annoying in my opinion. So again, I like how stiff this is. And once it's locked in, it's locked. You don't get any movement here. As you can see, I'm trying to push them up and they're just not moving at all. So you really have to add some force to snap them back inside the adapter. So on the other side here, we do have again the Apple logo. And then on the back, you have your USB-C port. Both of these two items right here are included with the MacBook Air. These are very expensive as the power adapter is already expensive itself, coming in at $77. So the pricing of the Apple USB-C power adapter here for the 61 watt, that is currently available on Amazon for $61.20. If you look at other retailers, they may sell it a little bit higher or about the same price, but I picked it up for $61.09. So if I wanted to purchase another one, um, I probably would go with a like new one just to save a little bit of money. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a quick look at the Rave Power Power Adapter. And for this one, again, it's the 61 watt version. I'm comparing apples to apples. I know there's a higher wattage one, and that one is the 96 watt. I typically seen it to use it on the MacBook Pro 16 inch version. So what's included in the box is 61 watts. So I wanted to stay around that RAM. Getting back to the Rave Power here. So as you can see, it's a much smaller footprint and very compact. Both are portable, um, but definitely, this is definitely not gonna take up hardly any space in your bag. You can even drop this in your pocket. Whichever kind of carry you have set up, this is definitely gonna be a lot easier to commute around with. On each side, you get Rave Power. You get the prongs right here. Again, these are retractable. Now, these are a little easier to uh, pull down from the adapter which I do like. You don't wanna struggle with pulling these prongs down. So that is a good thing. However, they are still stiff enough where to like, if you were to plug this into an outlet, you definitely won't have the prongs push back inside the adapter. That way you won't be frustrated when trying to plug this adapter to an outlet. So again, I like that feature. You know, small details definitely matter. Towards the back here, we have 
the USB-C port where you will plug the cable in. So on the RAID power adapter, you have an LED indicator. And so you'll be able to tell when this is definitely working and your device is charging. It does turn blue uh, when it's in charging mode. Okay, so I just checked Amazon and currently the RAID power USB C power adapter is unavailable and they just have to update the stock. In the meantime, I would just leave the price there because I don't want to leak another charging adapter that I haven't personally tested. But I purchased this one for $30. So you can see the price difference already between the two. And you may be a little surprised or you may not at the testing that I did. And that's what we're going to go ahead and talk about right now. So out of the box, my MacBook Air M1 was about 80%. I wasn't able to check the actual percentage um, when I was initially using it. I made sure that this MacBook went completely dead so that way I can get from the time that the device is unusable due to no charge to a full battery. I grabbed the Apple OEM power adapter first because I wanted to see how fast it would charge with the one that comes out of the box. So I started charging my MacBook, let's say give or take around 5 p.m. I just pretty much left it, you know, put it off to the side for it to charge. At 7.25 p.m., the battery was fully charged. Again, this is the same one that will come out of the box. So you can see the time and how long it took for it to fully charge my MacBook. So I waited a full day in between of the next charge. So again, I wanted to make sure that I had used all the battery in my MacBook so I can test the Rave Power adapter. So when using this one, pretty much just follow the same thing. I didn't use my MacBook at all. Just let it, you know, charge to see how long it would take. And so I started charging my MacBook at 8.11 a.m. And then I forgot to check to see when it was fully charged and done. So what I did, I used my MacBook a little bit more to get it down to a certain percentage. So I included a 97% on the initial charge with the Rave Power, um, and then I went back and charged it from 97% to 100% to see how many minutes it took to charge from 97%. So we're looking at about roughly the same time frame for it each one of these power adapters. I also included how long it took to charge my MacBook Air M1 for both of these. So you can definitely um, see what is the difference between the two. What it's looking like for me, it probably will be better for you to save some money and get Rave Power or find one that you feel comfortable with using to charge your device. But if it is available for purchase, I will leave that link in the description. I don't see a total difference between these two they both charge my macbook decently fast the amount of time it takes to get it powered to 80 percent is phenomenal for me so again if you want to just save a little bit of money you know check out the rave power if you can find it or if you just comfortable with sticking with apple then yeah definitely go for it and if you can save a little money there definitely still think you can do so and also I have other Rave Power products. So I felt very confident in picking this one up to test out. So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, you definitely know the drill. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos that are coming out from me. And then also I have other videos on my channel if you guys want to check those out as well. Hopefully hit that thumbs up button because it definitely helps the video out a lot as you guys already know. And also you can let me know if you purchased a third party power adapter for your MacBook um, or any other device that you typically use often. So yeah, again, either one works for me. And if you know someone that's in the market of purchasing another power adapter for their MacBook or wanna get a head start, um, because they will be purchasing a MacBook soon and hopefully share the video with them. But with all that said, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.